It's a less than beautiful day here in the beer garden. It is Oktoberfest season, my favorite time of the year for drinking beer. And yeah, we had some tornadoes, and yeah, we're having some rain, and yeah, we're having some Oktoberfest beer. And up this round, Shiner Oktoberfest. Meltzen style beer out of Texas. 5.8% alcohol. I got Shiner Oktoberfest for about $7.99 a six pack, which is right at my threshold for a cheap beer. And I've been exposed to Shiner Bach before when I was in Texas. And I've got some friends who love Shiner Bach, and I was that, not really that wild for it. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Uh, what's our first sign of it being a cheap beer? A twist off cap. Uh, fairly robust open. Now you know me, uh, Oktoberfest is uh, my favorite time of the year for drinking beer and I love Märzen style beers and German beers so I'm very particular and I look for the basics. I don't want anything complicated. Here's to Oktoberfest in quarantine. Prost! Right. You get that yeastiness to it, which I look for. You get that sort of uh, malt under, soft underbelly that I look for, yes. A vague reference to some hops in there, which I'm not a hoppy kind of guy. I'm not that sophisticated. I'm not big on hoppy beers, which at Meritzen really shouldn't be hoppy. So I had some positive expectations going into this, although I had some negative expectations considering I wasn't that big a fan of Shiner Bach. It just gave me a really bad headache. <coughs> All right, well, not a whole lot to talk about here. I mean, but it seems to be lacking something. I'm not exactly sure what. It's nowhere near as smooth as the German Oktoberfest beers, the Big Six, nor was I expecting it to be even close to that. I would say if you like Yingling Oktoberfest, and here, check out my video uh, for the Yingling Oktoberfest. It's very similar in composition and taste. I do get that feeling that it is a cheap beer, but I do get a little bit of that metallic, coppery kind of uh, taste in my mouth. It is an American knockoff of a proper German Oktoberfest. I think this, would, again, would pair nicely with your paper Oktoberfest signs and decorations and plastic hats and lederhosen. Definitely not authentic. So out of five stars, five being a very good cheap Oktoberfest beer, I would give Shiner Oktoberfest 3.25 stars. So hey, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We'd love you to join our group on Facebook, A Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review. And we're also on Twitter. So please like, enjoy, and share. And hey, it's a soggy day here in the beer garden during Oktoberfest season. So don't just sit there. Grab yourself a cheap beer. Prost. Thank you